she was a great dancer and had been a very elegant dancer, so I certainly had to find out quite a lot about how she held herself, and I was lucky to see the Margot Fontaine documentaries that have just been played recently. So you get a real idea of how these sort of women uh, hold themselves, really. And also I had to be American because uh, we've changed the character from English to American, and so that was quite a challenge. You know, when I spoke to people who were in this sort of job and I spoke to people in the Sydney Dance Company and they said, look, sometimes to handle a, a large um, company with very creative people is really challenging and you've got to be quite tough at times. But on the other hand, you, ha you are the person that is in awe of their talent and has to shepherd it in a way. This has been a sort of a sequence of chances because um, synchronicity, I think they call it, but it's just sort of wonderful good luck. A while ago, I went, a friend of my mother said, look, we're going to see, we've got, um, there's a charity uh, thing being done at the race course where this marvelous dancer from uh, China is going to give a talk on his life and he's launching his book and where there's going to be a little bit of film about his dancing and so I went to see him talk at the racetrack and uh, the, I sort of got an early introduction to his story and a little bit of his dancing and I bought the book, I got him to sign it and I sent it straight off to mum so <laughs> I didn't read it but she's got it, she had to send it back to me when I started doing this so yes it's been, uh, I was fascinated by his story and impressed by him of course.